What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Algebra One with Mr. Peters. In today's video, we're going to focus on how to graph and shade systems of inequalities. Let's get started. The way I'm going to break this down and show this to you guys is I'm going to explain as I solve. So let's look at this equation right here. Y is greater than 3x minus 1. So two things we need to know. One, because of the greater sign, it's going to be a, a, a dashed line. And then two, the y-intercept should be negative one. So what I'm going to do is just create a quick sketch of what this graph should look like. So once we do that, right, we know the y-intercept's negative one. So my line is going to look something like this, right? So this is the line 3x minus 1. So this is probably going to be the bottom line. So when I look at this, I say, hey, this is probably incorrect because when I look at it going through the y-intercept negative 1, it's a solid line. So this can't be my answer, and b can't be my answer. Now I go to my other line. It says y is less than or equal to x plus 4. But before we get there, how would we shade for this? So if it's greater than, that means we shade above. So for this line, guys, we're going to shade in this direction. And I just like to put arrows just to remind us. So that's the first line. Now let's switch colors and let's go to black. So y is less than or equal to x plus 4. So because it has the or equal to sign, guys, it's going to be a solid line. We know that the y-intercept is going to be 4. So it'll probably be somewhere up here. Just remember, it's, this is a rough sketch, guys. All right, so let's say we draw our line now, right? And we draw something like that. And um, whenever you're picking points, guys, the reason I know, when, when they say shade, when they say greater than or equal to, we always shade above the line. And then when they say less than, you shade under. Another way to do this is let's say for this first one, right, the red line, let's say we plugged in zero. So zero is greater than, and when I say zero, guys, I mean the ordered pair zero, zero. We picked it, right? So zero now is greater than three times zero minus one. So if zero is greater than negative one, this is true, meaning we're going to shade to where that point is. Zero's right here. I'm shading on this side. Just want to make sure you guys understood that if you didn't. All right, back to this now. So now we're shading for this line, and we know that we're shading under it because y is less than. If I put 0 in, I know 0 is less than 0 plus 4. So that means I'm going to be shading in this direction. Now, to know where or what is the correct answer, guys, we're going to shade where it satisfies both equations. So if you look right here, this little area satisfies both equations. But when we come up here, this does not satisfy the equation, right? It's only going to satisfy one of the lines and not both. So when we compare this back to our answer choices A and C, we know that it's it has to be C because only this section should be shaded. Anything outside of it, like an A, would be the incorrect answer. Really hope this quick review on shading inequalities was helpful for you guys. Thank you for joining us. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave comments for future videos you guys would like to see on our channel. Thank you for joining us today.